what is ECMAScript and what is JavaScript? So if you've been in the JavaScript space or web development, you might have heard ES6, ES2015, ES Next, ECMAScript, JavaScript. What are all these things? This is what we're going to talk about in this video today. All right, so let's get into it. So JavaScript, as we know, it's a programming language that we could use on our browser and also use um, non-browser with something like Node.js and other runtimes. But do you know that there's a specification for JavaScript? And that's what ECMAScript is. So let me show you. So there is a body that is responsible for standardizing um, computers, systems, and programming language. That body is called ECMA International. It's a non-profit and it's short for European Computer Manufacturers Association. And this is the body that standardizes a general programming language called ECMAScript. It's a specification and JavaScript is an implementation of that specification. I would explain more on that in a bit. So let's look at the standards. Let's look for JavaScript. So you could see in the website is standards in this menu here. If we click on standards, it's going to open up a page, show you all the standards that ECMO International have had. And they are ref referenced with this number, which is like ECMA dash, like uh, some numbers. So what we're looking for is ECMA 262, which is the JavaScript specification or the ECMAScript specification. Yeah, so this this one right here. All right, so you could see the last edition for the spec was made June 22, which is ECMA 2022 or ES 2022. And um, yeah, so ECMAScript 2022 language specification. If we open that, you would get to see like a document saying this standard defines the ECMAScript 2022 general purpose programming language. All right, so this is the spec. And what the spec is, the spec is a blueprint saying that this is what a general purpose scripting language or programming language should look like. And JavaScript is an implementation of that blueprint. All right. And so if you take out the APIs from the browser and the node APIs or whatever runtime that's running JavaScript, just the language itself, the syntax and the core language construct is all specified by ECMAScript or by the ECMA international body. So the language or the language spec is ECMAScript. JavaScript is an implementation of that spec. And when I say implementation, do note that JavaScript is an implementation of the spec outside the premise of where JavaScript is running. The spec doesn't care where JavaScript is running. It just it just defined the standard. It just defined the standard, like the syntax and everything. So JavaScript can then be implemented by these um, browser engines or Node.js runtime. So whatever they add to it, it's meant to be tailored for the browser so the browser can run. So that's why you could see um, something will tell you that, okay, this feature is not being supported yet by, let's say, like um, Chrome or Internet Explorer or any other browser because ECMAScript is a spec, it's a blueprint, then the different, the different browser vendors have to go implement the, the specification which will let the spec run in the browser which is going to run in the form or the implementation of JavaScript. So in object-oriented programming speaking, ECMAScript is a class why JavaScript is an instance of that class because there are, there are other um, um, implementation of the spec, but the one which we use and love, I love it, is JavaScript. We use it on the web, we use it on the server side. So I wanted to just clarify that. And you could, so the, for your geekiness, you know the ECMA reference number for the JavaScript or the ECMAScript specification is ECMA 262. And if you want to get nerdy, you could read this so when you click on this link you get to get, come here and you, this is all 
the spec it's 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 it could be overwhelming if you're just getting started but if you want to geek out and just learn javascript without the browser apis or no js apis this is this will show you what it should be in javascript because ecmascript is the spec so yeah so that's what i wanted to talk about in this video so for those who are confused what is ecmascript and what is javascript you know that javascript is an implementation of ecmascript which is a specification for a general purpose programming language standardized by ecmo international with a reference number of ecma 262 so yeah if you like this sort of video about confusions folks may have about javascript you could comment if you have any other confusion you want me to talk about so we could just clear the air and bust this space so that most newbies to javascript or those working with javascript could be reminded of these concepts um so, so do comment on that and if you enjoyed this video do consider hitting that subscribe button it really helps the channel and help us reach more people so yeah so on to the next video